crazy. They're uh, spying on uh, the students when they're in school. Five G frequency. Uh, people are hunting people who walk by their houses. See all the lines. So here's the fish one. We gotta distort the shutter. We gotta distort the shutter. No, oh, I did see it. There's one right there. We gotta distort the shutter. jumped out right there. Those are very dangerous. And then this one over here. This one right here, it says danger, so let's see if uh in here to see anybody who's trying to hop the tracks. With uh, the trees here, uh, the dead dead branches, the 5Gs to catch a glimpse of people's thoughts as uh, they walk by or transfer information. Uh, it could be interpreted and also uh, people could interject and uh, plant seeds and uh, cultivate new behaviors of uh, in individuals. system because it's something we you, you commonly see in the marketplace like there's four by four trucks and uh, there's another one where they use GG for good game uh, you see that lots or BB would be best before so it's common uh, just like max you see it max and a lot of uh, successful brands like remax the lotto max so maxes are individuals who are predators who prey on individuals and it is a little bit of a pot calling the kettle black because uh, all this system does is uh, prey on individuals. Theme, park benches, and then uh, 5G frequency. Why does the government have technology that could spy on people's thoughts? And uh, this government 
Americans are only made up of people and people who are, you know, just as likely as anybody else, you know, as if intellectual property isn't stolen. You're just as likely as anybody else to get jealous and want things and, uh, and to play God over individual lives with this technology by making people want things that they never would want or fall in love with uh, somebody they never would fall in love with. It's a form of uh, life violation or life rape and we uh, make people get together who would never have gotten together. And uh, when I'm making uh, the, these videos, uh, there's covert attempts on my life. As you can see, this tree behind me is uh, dying oddly. Uh, you know, there's covert attempts on my life to kind of make it so people can't become aware of uh, the, the issues that I'm presenting here. You know, the fact that uh, the government does have a system that spies on on people and uh, regular individuals have became aware of it. And uh, right there, it was an attempt on my life, actually, using nanotechnology. Uh, so that they don't want regular people to, to become aware because uh, once people find out that their neighbor could be spying on them, you know, uh, there's going to be riots and a lot of uh, a lot of heads are going to roll, so to speak. There's a no trespassing sign, no trespassing on people's thoughts is my belief. That's uh, the Charter of Human Rights. Almost certainly, like, uh, we don't have our privacy of our own thoughts. How, you know, what is more sacred to a person than the privacy of their own body? With a uh, technology like this that exists that uh, enables people's thoughts to be violated over the cloud by uh, individuals who play people like a video game. As uh, you can see with this technology, people are able to think, communicate over the internet. This is uh, the most realistic subliminal image I see in on asphalt. You could see one right here and another one right there. And there's different groups of people. There's there's people in Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, there's about five of them. Uh, chaotic, uh, senior, gimp in the night, lost, and I, I forgot the other one right now. I see where it says lost and it looks like somebody's smoking a joint. So if people could cross that plane, there'd be subliminal metrics that they'd be getting. You can see an animal right there. Hey, I see where it says lost and it looks like an animal right there. Here's a very clear one right in between the circle there you can see a dog so they're basically saying if you smoke marijuana you're more likely to change your sexual orientation to different species and there's no coincidence uh that one of the brands uh, that they sell for uh marijuana in canada is mk ultra there was uh, the mk ultra project project uh, which was uh, the cia and i'm sure uh, the canadian version of CSIS was aware of it where they were using a uh, mind altering uh, drugs to uh to basically control people's lives and uh get them find out how they tick tag why would they why would somebody repeatedly tag over and over again if it wasn't in metrics and the reason is like look at if you stop right here Take about four steps, you're going to be right in front of there. So it's like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there's obviously a hidden system. Uh, even while I was uh, watching the metrics, uh, I could feel that uh, I was getting registered in the hidden system, uh, getting set up. Because if you set up uh, the person that's trying to reveal the system, there's going to be... Uh, more people that are going to end up in the cemetery like uh this is a system name good Gla good game gummerson the tags i see in sault ste marie are lost senior chaotic and gimp in the night and i i see these randomly throughout the town and they're always at like very odd spots like very low on the ground 
uh, where if somebody who was looking at them, they very low near the ground. They have their body completely manipulated to look at it because these individuals are aware of the government system and uh, take advantage of people to get them in the system and then take advantage of those people who are in the system. And this is uh, the reason why you see it. Here's where it says uh, UID, you it devil, money. It's where people play people and they make money on the dark web. So the government is aware that the dark web is uh, using this technology and they're doing nothing about it and they don't make the regular civilian population know that this is going on. So like the, there's a hidden genocide that happens because of this.